Linux Mint is a popular Linux distribution that is based on Ubuntu, but it has its own unique features and advantages. Linux Mint is often considered to be more user-friendly than Ubuntu. In this video, we'll have a closer look at Linux Mint and see how it stacks up against other Linux distributions. So you can choose from three different desktop environments. Each desktop environment has its own unique look and feel. Most popular is Cinnamon and this is sleek, modern and innovative. This one is stable, robust and traditional. So if you are looking for a traditional desktop environment between 2006 and 2011, Xfirst, if you are looking for a lightweight desktop environment, so I will recommend to go for it. One of the biggest advantages of Linux Mint is its gaming capabilities. Another advantage of Linux Mint is its customization options. So Linux Mint is an operating system for desktops and laptops computers and it is designed to work out of the box and comes fully equipped with the apps related to graphic design, productivity with LibreOffice or Microsoft Office documents also you can open here and then web related application, gaming related application and then multimedia you can enjoy music, TV, movies and so on. Let us talk about the installation process. So you'll simply click here on download first and once you download the ISO, then you can start burning it to CD in case you want to install it in your hardware or you can write it also on the flash disk or whatever external storage you have or if you are installing it as a virtual machine, so you can attach the ISO file here linuxmint.com and just click on download. So these are three editions which are available. Image is common for all. Most popular is Cinnamon and this is sleek, modern and innovative. So you can download the same image which is called Linux Mint 21.1 Vera. And here I'll go layer online. Just wait for the download to complete. It's 2.6 GB. I have already downloaded uh, Linux Mint. So what are the system requirements for Linux Mint? So 2 GB RAM, 4 GB is recommended, 20 GB of hard disk space and 100 GB recommended. As I'll be using this on uh, the virtualization platform, so you can use any virtualization platform. So I have two right now available with me on my desktop environment. One is the virtual box and another is Hyper-V. So here I'll be going to Hyper-V. I'll show you step by step how we can create the VM over here. So alternatively, you can create in virtual box also. ISO image from here, choose a disk file, and then here you can use Linux Mint. So, mainly difference between Hyper V and Oracle VirtualBox is that Hyper V is type 1 virtualization and VirtualBox is type 2 virtualization. Type 1 virtualization means that it will be using the hardware resources directly, but here this is software based, so which means that virtualization is installed on top of Windows. There will be performance issues mainly in Oracle VirtualBox. But Hyper V will not be having because this is native virtualization platform. All right. So you can see here that it has given us the live CD here. And you can go here into menu and you can see the live CD of this. With the Oracle VirtualBox on Windows, it takes time to power up. Great. So you can see here connection is established. All right. So I'll continue with the installation here keyboard layout just follow the steps here now location so i'll be choosing my current location muscat continue and i'll give it a name right so continue and login automatically all right so installation is completed here now i'll be restarting this right so system is loaded now connection is established now this is the first screen here you can see linux mint 21.1 cinnamon 64 bit so now we'll change the display setting in case you want to change the background so you can change the desktop background by clicking here Quick launch. So sudo apt get update. 
so network settings so if i go here to network settings so it will show me the network the status of the network i can enable and disable and here i can go to network settings in case i want to change the network setting here is my ipv4 setting right now it is using dhcp so i can change it to manual in case i want and here if you see updates so i can apply the updates if it is available in case you want to install the chrome browser so you will go here to google.com slash chrome so install the package so system monitor in case you want to see what type of processes are running right now what type of resources are being utilized so these are all the processes and these are all the resources so i'll show you applets and uh, desklets so if you go here to applications applets so these are all the applets which are available so applets are available here you can see here these are some of the applets which are available so in case you want to remove the applets from the applet screen so you can just click here group windows list so these you can see here these all on the taskbar these applets are removed right now notification pan network manager now you can see here network manager is gone if i go to all applications here you will be able to see disklets now disklets are like uh, widgets and you can download more also in case google calendar you want to download so you download it here and then you can add it notes also it's like sticky notes so you can add it also and here if you right click on this panel so you will see here the system settings and panel settings so panel setting is this particular panel setting so you can change the size of this also i'll just add the panel here now you can see these are two panels available one is here and one is here so this way we can add this panel and in case i want to remove so i can remove the panel from here and then i can remove this panel also so here right now you can see there are many applets right now so i can remove these applets in case i want to remove you can see here right click the panel is removed right now and now you can see that there is no panel on all the sides customize here so in customize i can just uh, make the layouts and all of that here i can add the desktop setting if i go here i can add computer i can add home i can add crash and even i can add network so you will see here these icons all right so now all the panels have disappeared here and how can i bring it back press Control, alt and t so it will launch the terminal once the terminal is launched so you'll do g settings and then reset uh, recursively and then org dot cinnamon enter now you can see here it has done the reset of your entire panel and in panel now we have already seen the applets we have already seen the desklets so you can also search for desklets from here so it will show you desklets thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the latest videos and releases of open source operating systems. See you next video. Take care and goodbye.